from precision folds to perfect wings. 20-year-old Evan Cooper never thought in his wildest dreams that despite flying actual planes, the aviation student would have bragging rights for being a paper plane aviator. In an interview someday, I'd be like, you know, if they asked me, what, what would we find if we looked up your name? I'd be like, well, I held a national record for a paper plane contest one time. I think that's really, you know, not many people get to say that. Evan started mastering the art after winning a local contest at Western Michigan University, oh, which took him to date in Ohio for the Red Bulls Paper Wings National Qualifier. The goal was simple, to come up with a design that would get the max flight time. I got 14.06 seconds, so that wow. was uh, the national record for uh, you know the whole competition at the time. I ended up beating it by about a second and a half. And then from there you went to Austria. Yeah, so the prize for winning the national was um, going to compete at the world finals in Salzburg, Austria. Evan was one of the 61,000 hopefuls from over 60 countries. But due to delays in getting his passport and flight issues, Evan arrived late for the event, which eventually cost him the title. But for Evan, the experience was the win. Being a person that's never traveled the world like that, going overseas, and I got to meet so many cool people um, from I don't even know how many different countries. It was just an awesome time. Evan is aiming to get his commercial pilot license this fall, but his biggest mission now is to perfect his plane's design. That will not only take his last record to new heights, but will also land him the Red Bull Paper Wings championship title. Now, as Evan gears up for his next event, which is in 2025, he is looking to name his design and you can suggest it by heading to our social media platforms and in the comment section, drop your name if Evan likes it. He's gonna make you a plane, sign it, and send it your way. Reporting from Bowles Harbor, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.